Let's sing a song full of hope, full of pain. Why don't you sing along, my friend? For it's our last refrain. Forever young, ever strong, ever brave. Memories like this never end. No, they don't fade away. So when. Good morning everyone and welcome back to another vlog. It is the start of a new week. I haven't vlogged over the whole weekend because my boyfriend came around and I just wanted to spend as much time as possible with him. I hadn't seen him properly in like a month and it was really lovely. Um, on Friday though, before he did come, I got a coursework grade back and it was fucking awful. Like I, it really put me in a bad mood. I felt shit all day about it because it was a piece of coursework that I thought I did really well in. And I feel like that's always the case with me. Like the coursework that I think I do well in, I do absolutely shocking in. And the coursework where I've tried, like worked my butt off and have really struggled with, I do well. So I don't know, it's just taken a bit of a hit, especially cause it's a double credit module. So it's taken up, it's just a shit grade and quite a big percentage of the of the module. So I'm really pissed off about that. And then I also submitted coursework on Friday, which was a set a little sense of relief as well. So I could focus fully on my disc. So yeah, it's been a bit of a whirlwind of emotions on the Friday. And then this weekend, obviously I spent time with Aiden and Miha and Aiden did an escape room yesterday. We did the Sherlock initiation at Escape Lincoln. Earlier on in the week, me, Megan and Hattie did the prison breakout, which was so cool where I got like trapped in a room and they had to like get me out of it. And we had to like solve clues and stuff. And then yesterday we did Sherlock, which was a lot of like riddles. And it was just really fun. Like me, Aiden and Hattie did really well. We escaped with 52 minutes, 30 seconds. And we're actually on the leaderboard at the minute for the Sherlock initiation, which is quite funny. Um, um, we really want to do the rest of them now, though, because we're, like, suddenly addicted. Like, we've done two escape rooms in a week, and now me and her are like, oh, my God, we want to go every day. Yeah, and then I stayed around Carrie's last night, so... Yeah, it's been a really nice weekend. Again, like I said, I've been trying to keep my weekends really chilled. I uploaded a productive video on my main channel. I'll leave it down below. I literally planned my entire life from March to May. So I've got like all of my disc work that I need to do, revision for exams, just planning lots of my uni life. So if you feel like you need to organize your uni life and the work that you need to do in small amounts, some productivity tips some motivational talks, go watch that video. I'll leave it top link in the description. And yeah, I'm just sitting in bed at the minute. I literally walked back from Carrie's really early and I was like, I'm gonna get back into bed and just watch some YouTube for the morning. Um, but it's now 10 o'clock, so I'm gonna do my makeup, film some videos before today's lecture because I need to get some videos filmed. I have no camera, so I've had to borrow Carrie's and obviously she needs a camera too. So over the next couple of days, I need to just bulk film get these videos filmed. I've got some really exciting collabs coming up, so I can't wait for you guys to see. And they're very helpful, especially for like university life. And um, yeah, I just feel like I really wanna make some nice, good quality university content before I leave in May. So I have just filmed a video. I'm actually working with my uni um, on some videos, which is amazing. Um, so I've just filmed that, went downstairs, made myself some toast for lunch, you know, um, student struggles. <laughs> I only have really stir fry stuff because you know, my little weird obsession with stir fry at the minute, I felt like that's too heavy for lunch. So I made some toast. I've just come up here to find my headphones. Perfect. And now I'm just heading off. Woohoo! I'm gonna quickly go to the post office, post off some Depop stuff. Then I am heading to a lecture. Got a fabs lecture, I have no idea what it's about. Yeah, I've got a coffee with Neve. Then I'm going to my disc meeting. Um, I arranged a disc meeting last minute, um, last night. And my tutor was like, yeah, sure. She is honestly the most helpful disc supervisor I could have asked for. She sends me feedback like pretty much instantly or the day after I send it. So she's been so helpful with like helping me improve my disc. Um, and now I've just got a few bits left to do. Hoping that I get my dissertation finished by the end of the week. Like obviously I'll still be making adjustments, but I just want it to be pretty much complete because I've only got like 18 or 17 days left until it's due and it's freaking me out so <laughs> yeah right let's go I'm going to listen to a podcast on the way probably the receipts because I haven't listened to their episode this week right so I've just come out of my lecture um I did a, le I had a lecture on DNA extraction which went on for a long time um and then I just went to get a Cafe Nero with Neve, Hattie and Chloe we just had a little girls chat 
had a coffee and now I'm off to my dissertation meeting. I think I'm just gonna go ask some questions that I've had. I've like wrote a list of questions that I need to ask my supervisor um, and show her my results and see if she thinks I need to add anything. And then yeah, I'll be heading back and I think we're gonna all go into town together before doing some disc work for the day. so I am now home from uni and being out and everything um, me and Neve and Hattie went to Am Ann Summers and were looking at sex toys for a while um, it's made me want to go buy some when I get paid uh, I think it's really good that ha I actually really appreciate that I can talk so openly about like sex and female pleasure and stuff with my friends like I feel like that's so important like to talk about stuff like that because um, if you watch my get ready with me that's going up with Carrie Tuesday um probably after this video and um, you'll see that I talk about like female masturbation and how much it pisses me off that boys can just say like oh I just had a wank and no one says anything but if a girl says oh I just fingered myself everyone's like oh she's disgusting and it's one of my biggest pet peeves ever so yeah I feel like it's I feel really like honored to be able to like talk so openly about it with my friends and like have no one judge me like I just feel like it's great um because females should be able to have pleasure too, you know? Like, I've just got back. I'm just about to calculate all of my grades that I've got so far, like, for my whole modules. Because I really, really am stressed about this grade that I got on Friday. Um, because it is quite a big percentage. And everyone else seemed to do really well. And I don't get it. Because everyone I've spoken to today, we've all written the same shit. Like, we've all written exactly what the guy said. Like, all the tips and stuff. And we've all written the same thing. But, like what someone I know has got 100% I've never heard of anyone get 100% on any uni work one person's got 100% one person's got 97% and I've somehow done so shit like I got a 2-2 two -two. and that's like not good for me especially knowing that I thought I, the coursework went well if you know what I mean like it's my personal thing if you know what I mean I'm not saying a 2-2 two -two is shit you know I've talked about that before um, so yeah, I'm really stressed that I'm not going to be able to get a first now because of this one, two, two. And I know that's probably stupid um, and a really stupid mindset, but it's just panicking me. So I'm going to sit and work that out. I'm going to watch some YouTube whilst I do so and then get cracking with some of my disc feedback. It was really nice just seeing my supervisor and her just running through everything and just like basically going through all the feedback she's given me in a more detail and it's been really helpful. So I'm going to send off my results and discussion section by the end of the week so she can look over that, give me some more feedback on them sections because I've sent over my like intro and method so far um, and she's given me some good feedback. So yeah, that's all good. Um, I've also had this weird feeling today. I don't know if I've talked about this on my vlog, but I've just talked about it on my Instagram stories. Make sure you go follow me over there because I do like little chats and share bits and pieces over there too. Um, but I just had this really overwhelming feeling today. I've had it so many times at uni before. I think it has stemmed from like me having shitty like friendships and stuff at school where like a lot of people have let me down and like I've put my trust in so many people and they've like betrayed the trust or made up shit about me and I just feel like everyone resents me and everyone hates me and I've got this like overwhelming like anxiety panic feeling that everyone in the room hates me so like when that's when sometimes I go to lectures I have to either leave or I don't go in the first place or I go to go to the lecture and then stop myself and I end up going to the library or something else because it gives me like I feel like I'm gonna have a panic attack and for anyone who's had a panic attack you'll know that you would do anything to not have that feeling so yeah I just had that really badly today but once I'd enter my lecture um lecture room so I just sat in the lecture and I thought I was gonna like combust from anxiety so that was fun um but yeah I'm feeling a lot better now especially I think after my disc meeting went well I was like oh my god I'm on track like everything's fine you're gonna be okay and yeah, so I think I'm just going to sit now and do work out all my grades and I'll get back to you and hopefully I haven't fucked up my degree. I've just left mine and I went to Pasta Go because I've gone to collect some pasta for Carrie. She's not been feeling great so I thought I'd go get her some pasta, cheer her up. I've been in there for about half an hour like waiting for my order but I think it's because he was like it was only him working on his own I did feel really sorry for him because he had so many orders to do um before me um but yeah just walking now to carry is really exciting we're gonna have like a nice little girly night here and have some food I've brought all my um veggie stir fry stuff because I'm staying at Carrie's and I haven't had dinner yet even though it's nine o'clock now <laughs> good morning everyone so I just got back 
and got ready from Carrie's. It is almost midday. Um, today's really exciting because I'm heading to IQ Students Pavilions. Pavilions is one of um, my student accommodations at Lincoln. And I'm actually working with them on something today. So I'm heading there soon. Hat's gonna come with me and help me film everything. It's gonna be up on my main channel soon. I'm doing something along the lines of like body positivity and like things you can help like making your room a good environment for like self-love and positivity and everything. So I'm really excited. I'm um, just sorting everything out for it. And um, then we're gonna be heading off. It's like 20, 25 minute walk. So I'm gonna head soon. And then I think we're gonna go do some work somewhere, maybe Cafe Nero, 200, something like that. Right, so me and Hat are just, it's so weird being on my old camera. And um, me and Hat just had a pit stop at McDonald's because we were thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> and we're just heading to, IQ now so the accommodations over here is like right next to McDonald's which is always handy and um, we're just heading in there and gonna go find reception um, I'm actually not sure because I've never properly been in pavilions in here. I've only been in the little shops that they've had like the cost cutter when they used to have that and um, they've got like it's been renovated and lots of different things that I didn't even know about until I looked at the website so I'm gonna go head in and see where we're going because I actually have no idea I'm the assistant for the day yeah Hat's my assistant she's going to be filming um, my video I for be me assistant because my favourite thing is like organising yeah so I actually love it yeah right so we've just come basically I went to the IQ reception and they literally knew everything about it which made me instantly feel better because I was like I don't know what I'm doing like what's going on and they basically brought us to their bronze ensuite showrooms and they're insane aren't they but we literally walked in and we're like what's the fuck it's like mental and they decorated it yeah it's just like, it's so nice and she was really nice, she's like, if you want anything, just come out, like, we, I, I thought they were going to be like, yeah, just film in there quick and then let's move on, do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, that, me too, I just didn't know what to expect. Is there music on? Yeah, there's like music on <laughs> in the kitchen. And it is so nice. Let's show, show some of the rooms. Just So how many rooms have we got? I think there's six here. So on the right hand side there's just the bronze on suites and I think these are the, oh no, that one's just a plus room. Is that just because, I don't know what makes it a plus room compared to the others, but this is £123 a week I'm assuming. Wow. Yeah, um, I haven't been, wow. I was not expecting it to be like yeah. designed and everything. By the way, this isn't sponsored. Like I'm just, I just wanted to show it in the vlog because we were so excited and it's made me want to start first year again. I want to live here. If I lived here, I would have a different experience. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Experience. Yeah, so over there is the Think Tank, which is a building I've been in before for my crime scene stuff. Um, parking right outside. Yeah, parking outside. There's like it's a whole gated area. There's an actual like what's it called? Um, lounge. What's what's it? A communal room? So this is flamingo themed. I don't know what makes this a plus room. Do you know what I mean? Is it just slightly bigger? bigger? Like inside the bathroom. So um, so this is what the bathroom looks like. Definitely better than Lincoln Courts. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Just purely because we actually have a shower rather than a wet room. I feel like that would have been a lot better, wouldn't it? Because yeah. we always had our showers like Giant fucked. Giant wardrobe with sections. I want this now. Yeah. Oh my God, I want to restart and like start yeah. here and start first year again. And it's yeah. making me jealous. And this board is nice as well, rather than that ugly blue we had. This is well nice. It's all grey. Do you know what I mean? It's muted. What's the difference? This is a plus. Is it? Is there, there's not really more room. Maybe it's just plus because it's furnished nicer. Like, look, it's got the flooring. Like, it doesn't have shitty carpets. Oh, yeah. Whose job was this? Because this is a good job. Yeah, imagine, like, making up all the showrooms. Like, all the cute bedding. Cute. This is pineapple themed. Pineapple themed room. Cute. I actually can't believe they've, like, decorated it. I thought I was, like, I was like. You brought stuff. Yeah, I literally brought stuff to decorate because I was like, I don't know what's going to be going on wow. it's making me really sad for some reason oh i love this room oh, yeah cute pink and green is a vibe wow. every moment matters and then yeah this is the this is mad this is the kitchen area they've like set the radio up or music on it's like stunning like how incredible is this kitchen like i can't i can't i would want this in my future home the surface tops What's in there? Oh, you pulled it off. <laughs> so two, <laughs> two peng sofas that are a lot bigger. Yeah. <laughs> and then TV. Yeah. 
and I like that it's like just nice colours as well like it's just greys and blacks and whites and then you can like accessorise they've got all like the kettle and all the appliances they've actually made a real good effort with like decorating it yeah cute oh my gosh <laughs> what? what? ready? film it film what? okay shit Frozen star. Frozen star. But this is amazing, right? Trees. Right, so me and Hat have just finished filming at Pabs. Hat's my little assistant and she did amazing. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's made us really like sad. Like, it sort of made me almost emotional. I know, about like how quick uni One life has gone. So we are basically going to walk across the sports bridge, which we haven't done in how long? I can't remember the last time I walked over this bridge. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to lie, I have to get to the gym, but... Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah, we're just going to walk over the sports bridge because that's where we used to walk all the time for courts. We were in court 16, apartment 5. I was in room 5. Hat was in room, room 3. three. <laughs> um, and I really want to walk past our window now and peek in and yeah. invade everyone's privacy. We're also going to Minerva because we want to go to the Pier Cafe. Yeah. It's really nice in there and they've got like booths and everything. We're going to go do like some work in. Yeah. to go out tonight I haven't vlogged in ages I don't even know when the last time I vlogged was um but yeah we just came to Carrie's we're all ready to go out Carrie's gone straight hair I've really got bronze in my face it's really obvious on camera <laughs> I feel like it'll be fine it's fine when you're in a clip um this t-shirt is from <laughs> Nasty Gal <laughs> t-shirts from Nasty Gal oh it's not a t-shirt it's a shirt like and it ties around the front here Very and we've got flattering. some beige Shorts oh, from Misguided. Neut it's a neutrals kind of night. And we've got Carrie here with her stunning O Poly dupe. This is O Nana. 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 Featured a new low. Beautiful. And we're twinning. Oh, yeah, we are twinning. <laughs> okay, don't, but we are twinning. We've got the same shoes yeah. on because we're in obsessed love. with each other and in love. We're filming TikTok. Yeah, we've been filming TikTok. My, best one ever. my favourite thing is that we learnt it. <laughs> about it like we, we sat and learned that. it we revised that lyric um but we're just about to film a say it or shot it and we, we're literally going in like you know when people go do you see say it or shot it and they don't answer say anything or my favorite music you know yeah it's none of this that shit. is gonna be crazy like the You're questions i've got shot every single time. yeah i'm really quite scared because we both haven't drank in ages so i'm thinking we're going to also, die we're doing it so but we've not drank yet we're just hyper <laughs> we're just crazy when we're right around. say it or shot it Back on your TV series today for one night only. Oh my god, okay, we just filmed saying it was shot it. I'm having weird revelations. We need to get out. We need to get out of the house right now. So let's do a shot. Okay. This always happens. Why do I not know my limits? Now we could go out and have a lovely night. And what am I gonna do? Throw up. I don't know why we're drinking shots when we can just put it in our drink. Yeah, ready, go. I think it's getting worse. Yeah, I think it's getting worse actually now. I've, I think I've had about 11 shots, <laughs> at least, minimum. And I'm not even joking, like, look, that's just for me and this one's carried. Yeah. Scary stuff. Ask. Right, should we get out? Let's hit the, what's it going to on a Tuesday? Let's in the it. road, that's what I was thinking, home's my Costa, thing. Don't it? Oh. It's a price I'm willing to pay to have fun. It's a price I'm willing to pay to forget my sins. Right, oh, so we're just leaving. <laughs> Look how good she looks. She's, awesome. She's stunning. We literally just did an Instagram live because we are stupid <laughs> um, and we like to embarrass ourselves. Like to the best the part of my life. Um, look, we're both wearing matching shoes. Matching shoes. Matching lift. Matching life. Matching, matching drinks. What? Why don't you share? That was pretty really good considering. <laughs> right. Oh my god, I look so blonde. Oh my god, sorry, I got She's one. a blonde babe. Also, follow me on TikTok. Yeah, follow us on TikTok. I'll leave them down below. So we've come to me and Kella. Hello! I wasn't expecting to be here. I forgot. I thought we were going to a club, but we're here. I'm overly confused. Well, we ran out of vanilla vodka, so we had to get sex on the beach and then I poured some martini. Here it is. So we're in the beer kettle 
toilets and I've never seen it so so dead in my life Carrie's literally in that toilet and there's no one in here and it's always literally full with people in here so I'm really confused before